Marilyn, is that you? Mars, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. He's right. Since when can you afford authentic Terran marble? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? What vulgar company you keep, Marilyn? Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. That's the other problem. We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? Shh! Someone could hear you. We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of twelve-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. It was quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Hey! You're supposed to be on my side. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to, uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. Hmm, she hasn't changed a bit, I see. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. Let's just get out of here, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Let's just put this unpleasantness behind us. Oh, could you please leave quietly now?
in the void did you do? I didn't like how things went down either, but did you have to go and kill them? I guess I did too, when I joined up with you. You're on your own now. Consider my debt to you forgotten and cancelled. Don't let the door clip you on the way out. After you killed her parents, Ellie left the Unreliable. She returned to her old life in the Groundbreaker's orbit, but her days of mischief and nights of carousal had lost their appeal. She found herself taking bigger and more foolish risks, but something irrevocable had changed. <laughs>